two semicircles and a circular arranged in a rectangle as shown in the figure below. The length of the rectangle is 10 units. Find the area of the shaded. Beautiful question. It's a semicircle. It's a semicircle. Circle in between. We want to find area of this shaded region. Whenever you have this overlapping figure, first thing to note is if you cut across this, then this can be thought of as a segment. This can be thought of as a segment. And so if you have something going for this, these two, the, linking the two circles, then we are good to go. Then we can cover this. We have this covered. So how do we do this? The bigger, the, the circle that is completely seen, not the bigger circle, the circle that's completely seen, and vis a vis that, the semicircles, we get the radii, then we are getting somewhere. And how do we do that? Let's say the radius of this circle is r. And so this is r, this is r, this side will be 2r. And simply, this is r, this is r, r, r. The moment we have that, I think we can straight away think about this and say we can draw a link between this radius of that semicircle and radius of the circle. How so? Think about this. This is r, this is r. Draw this. That will be root 2 r. We draw this. That will be root 2 r. Now think about it from the point of view of the semicircle. The radius of the semicircle is root 2 r. And so, r, this part is root 2 r. This part is root 2 r. The entire length is 2 root 2 r. Lovely. Now, we still have to imagine this as a segment and then say, I'll find area of this segment and then multiply that by 2. How do you find, imagine this as a segment? Imagine this segment, forget this part, ignore the shaded part. Right? Let's call the center of the large semicircle. And the semicircle, which is larger than the radius, has higher radius than the circle. From that point of view, draw this radii. Imagine the sector, and from that subtract the triangle. Lovely. If you imagine the sector, and from that we subtract the triangle, we are through. The beauty of this is the numbers are very friendly. So this is root two r. This is r and r. This is forty five. This is forty five. This is forty five. So area of this thing, which I'm shading with dots. We are imagining that as area of sector minus area of triangle. Right? The sector is a quadrant. Why? The central angle is 90, one fourth of a circle. The triangle is a right angle triangle. So it is half into base into height. It's not just any right angle triangle. It's a beautiful isosceles right angle triangle with side root 2 r. Or quite simply, you have root 2 r, 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 90 degrees. Right? Or this area that we want to calculate this area is pi into root 2 r whole square by 4 one fourth of pi r square minus half into root 2 r into root 2 r half this goes away completely root 2 r square is 2 r square so this will become pi r square by 2 minus r square or r square into pi by 2 minus 1. This area of this segment, the answer we are looking for is this one r square into pi by 2 minus 1 whole thing into 2. You know r, you're through. We are told that the longer side of the rectangle is 10. So r should be, let's go back here. Is 2 root 2 r, 2 times root 2 r is 10, or r is 5 by root 2. Plug r is equal to 5 by root 2 into this expression that we have got 25 by 2 into pi by 2 minus 1, whole thing into 2, or 25 into pi by 2 minus 1. That is the area of the shaded region. Right? Wonderful question. The moment, the first thing is to throw the, the overlap is twice of a segment. Second is to link radius of circle and radius of semicircle. And then be careful about the math when we are through. Hush.